Hey, Layla. How's it going? Just got off my night shift and boy am I exhausted. I feel like I could sleep for a week. What have you been up to? Hey there, George. Good job on finishing your night shift. It's pretty late, huh? I can only imagine how tiring it must be. So, how was work? Busy as always? As for me, I'm actually working today too. I'm on my lunch break right now. Thanks, Layla. Yeah, work has been tough lately. It's been a bit overwhelming, to be honest. But hey, good job on working today as well. You're a hard worker just like me. By the way, do we have any food at home? I'm starving. Well, lucky for you, we still have some leftover curry from last night in the fridge. You should heat it up and have some. It'll save us the trouble of cooking. Ugh, curry again? I'm really not in the mood for it. I think I'll just grab something to eat on my way home. Oh, speaking of things to do, did you manage to fill out the mayor's certificate? Yup, I took care of it. I got the necessary witnesses to sign it, so it's all ready to go. All we need to do now is submit it to City Hall. But to be honest, this is a really busy time for me at work. And it seems like you're pretty busy too. So maybe we should hold off on submitting the form for now and do it when things calm down a bit. What do you think? Actually, I'd rather not wait. I'm busy too, but I really want to marry you as soon as possible. Could you do me a favor and go turn in the certificate? You know, pull some strings and make it happen. I understand that you want to get married soon, and I feel the same way. But how about this? Why don't we meet up after work and go down to City Hall together? It would be better to submit the application as a team, you know? Or hey, we could even make it a mini holiday. The receptionist at City Hall can submit forms on holidays. I get what you're saying, but you work in an office, so I'm sure you have more energy after a shift than I do. After all, I'm doing physical labor outside. I'm sorry, but going all the way to City Hall after work or on my day off doesn't sound appealing to me, especially not today. I just finished a night shift and all I want to do is sleep. I understand that City Hall is far from our place and you're tired after your shift. But couldn't we make an exception? Let's not rush into making a decision right now. We can discuss it again later. Anyways, my break is over. Enjoy your time off, okay? No, no. This is important for both of us. We shouldn't brush it off. In my opinion, since we're living together now, we should register our marriage this week. I've said it before. I really want to marry you as soon as possible, preferably this week. Wait, what? I don't think I can make it to City Hall this week. This isn't something we should rush into, don't you think? But I can't wait for you to have my last name. Come on, have some pity on me. This is something I really want. I know you're busy, but we've got to do something. Well, okay, fine. I'll try to make it work. But I can't promise that I'll be able to submit the papers for sure. I'm really swamped with work right now. You're the best, Layla. Let me know when you can submit the papers. I'll make sure to let you know when I'm done with everything on my side so you can go ahead and submit it. Absolutely, I'll keep you updated. Oh, by the way, I'm texting instead of calling because I'm pretty sure you're busy with work. My mom called earlier and she said that my dad's health took a turn for the worse. I'm leaving work early and heading to my parents' place. Then we'll probably end up at the hospital. It's a family emergency and I've got to go help my mom. I'll be gone for a while. I'm sorry, but things are really hectic right now. So I might be slow to respond to your messages. I hope you understand. All right, I've got to head out now. I'll message you later with more updates. George, my dad passed away. I'm glad that I got to be with him in the end. I don't know how to feel. It hasn't sunk in yet. I understand that you're working, but please come to the funeral and wake. George, did you see the message saying my dad died? I tried calling you, but you didn't answer. I left a message on your answering machine. Why didn't you come to the wake a couple days ago or the funeral yesterday? Is there something going on? Please explain. I can't understand if you don't tell me anything. 
please let me know what's going on. Anyway, I'm headed home this afternoon. I'll ask you face to face what's going on. Why you didn't attend my dad's wake or funeral? And why couldn't I reach you? George, I made it to the station now. I'll be home in around 10 minutes. Why haven't you read any of my messages? Hey, Layla. Long time no chat. You're finally going home. Took you long enough. I was getting impatient. George, my dad died and you didn't respond to any of my messages? I've been struggling. Did you run into some trouble? Is that why you didn't make it to his funeral? Still, it's weird that you never got in touch with me. It made my mom upset too. No, no trouble at all. I didn't go because I didn't think it was necessary. Huh? You didn't think it was necessary? That man was going to be your father-in-law, remember? Why didn't you feel like you needed to go? Um, don't you get it? Didn't you find it odd you couldn't get in contact with me at all then? I've been thinking about divorcing you, which is why I didn't go. I shouldn't have to go to the funeral of someone who's not my family anymore. I'm a busy man. Plus, I'm tired. Huh? Divorce? What are you saying? What did I do wrong? What are you saying? I said I'm divorcing you. Plain and simple. A divorce is a divorce. Why? But what about our wedding ceremony? Huh? Why? I'm so confused. Just shut up already. Well, I posted divorce papers on your front door. Fill them and send them out today. Good luck. Huh? The front door? But that's outside where everyone can see. Plus, filling them out today? It's so sudden. Yep. You can do it. Quit asking me the same questions over and over. This is unbelievable. I just got home. Did you have to place the divorce papers in such a prominent location? People passing by are going to talk. You could have at least left them inside of the house. I mean, they're divorce papers. But that's just the first thing that doesn't make any sense. Are you mad because I left the house for a while? Whatever. I'm glad you finally got the divorce papers. You don't need to know the reason for this. Just send them out. By the way, I am also entitled to get some of your dad's inheritance. Don't spend it without asking me first. What? Did you really say that? You'll get his inheritance? Are you lying? Is this why you've been rushing to get married ever since my dad got sick? I thought it was peculiar. Was my dad's inheritance your goal from the beginning? I really don't hope so. Oops, looks like you figured it out. Well, that's the truth. Your father's gone, so there's no reason to stay with you. That's why I'm divorcing you. Oh, okay. I understand. I'm still processing my dad's death. Please give me some slack. Nope. I've decided we're getting a divorce. You should wrap your head around that. Let me know when your family wants to discuss the inheritance and I'll come over. Um, I don't get it. Why would you do that? Huh? I said it before. Didn't you catch that? I'm inheriting your father's money too. That's why I need to be there. And don't say I can't inherit anything. Even if we get a divorce now, I was still your husband at the time of your father's death. So I have legal grounds to inherit. That means you can't spend any of it without my permission. It's not yours alone. You've got to invite me to your family's meeting. I demand that of you. It's a simple fact that I'm eligible to inherit. Can't you understand? Well, I see where you're coming from, but don't you know the whole story? If you were always after his inheritance, how could you not know? Don't know what? To put it simply, unfortunately, you aren't eligible to inherit my dad's money. Of course I am. Don't try to trick me. You're the one who tricked me first. My dad didn't leave a will. The legal heirs are the only ones who can inherit his estate. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Therefore, I'm eligible for the inheritance. I registered my marriage with you, which makes me his son-in-law. No, you're not. There are only three legal heirs. My mom, my sister, and myself. Why? And what do you think is a legal heir? Stop using legalese on me. You were after my dad's inheritance? And you don't even know the terms legal heir. Anyways, whatever. You're not an heir. What? Why is that the case? 
Explain it quickly and simply. If you just looked into it a little, you'd understand. Man, you're shallow just to use me to get to my dad's money and estate. Um, well, never mind. What's a legal heir? I don't know what that means, but I don't mind sharing some of the property with you. We are dividing our assets for the divorce, of course. I know your dad's a millionaire. Even if you, your mom, and your sister divide it up, that's still a lot of money. Wow! You don't know that either? Okay, I'll briefly explain. An inheritance is technically a pecuniary request and is not subject to the division of properties in a divorce. As a result, I'm not legally obligated to divide up my dad's inheritance 50-50. What? Why didn't I bother looking that up? I mean, really, did try to marry you for your dad's money. So this whole thing was for nothing. Wow, I put so much effort in to make this work. And here I thought things were going well. If it makes you feel any better, we're not even married yet. Huh? I haven't submitted the marriage certificate yet. Did I ever tell you I did? But I told you to turn it in last week. You said you would. I said that I couldn't promise that I would. I mentioned that I might not be able to go to City Hall because I've been busy with work. Check your old text if you don't believe me. I even told you, I'll tell you when I submit it. Well, I never told you, did I? Besides, do you really think I'd have time to register my marriage? What, with work and my dad being sick? I thought you filed it. I just didn't check. Seriously, if this was going to happen, I would have gone to City Hall and done it myself. I didn't think you were that kind of person. I was too dumb to realize. Huh? Why did I have to go through all this nonsense? Well, everything turned out fine thanks to the fact that I didn't bother to submit the marriage certificate. I was able to keep my dad's inheritance from a scumbag. That was a close call. What did you just call me? A scumbag? No matter how I look at it, you're a scumbag. My dad must be watching over my mom, sister, and me. Thanks, dad. Hey, what did you say? How could you say something like that to the guy who promised to marry you? Who's the real scumbag here? What are you implying? You're not qualified to say such a thing to me. You're a monster. I thought you really wanted to marry me and be with me forever. I want my time back. Hey, I think you're crossing a line here. Who do you think you're talking to? In the meantime, I won't bother coming home tonight. The house is rented in your name, so I should leave. There's no way I could live under the same roof as you anymore. I'll pack my bags and head out tonight. I don't want to see your face anymore. Go ahead and leave. See if I care. But wait, what about the money? How much am I getting? You're not getting anything. You chased after the inheritance, but were too naive to think it through properly. Are you serious? So what was all this for? My plan. Where did it go wrong? My precious plan. How could it fall apart? It's ruined. I should have never met you. What was the point of this? You're the worst. Goodbye. Layla, hey, reply to me. Long time no chat. You seem upset. What's up? What's with these legal papers that came to my house? What do you mean I owe you $35,000? Ah, I see it arrived. Well, chill out, you lawyer. I'll probably explain it sooner or later. Talk to me through him from now on. Huh? I don't have a lawyer. Just explain what's going on. You're so dense. As usual. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you. You were cheating on me, weren't you? Our marriage wasn't registered, so it's none of your business. Wow, you're really uninformed. Ignorance is scary. If it's proven that an affair happened when we were engaged, then you owe me alimony. Oh, is that so? I didn't know. How did you find out that I was cheating? Did you look at my phone? Or perhaps you were following me? Doesn't matter how I figured it out. Is that really your top priority here? You're so inept. It makes me so mad and disgusted. I'm glad we were never married. Uh-oh. We were planning our wedding ceremony, weren't we? You wanted to get a divorce before we got married, huh? If we canceled the wedding ceremony, 
you should pay 20% of the required amount to the wedding hall as a cancellation fee, plus any actual expenses. What? Don't tell me I have to pay all that money. It's our wedding, so why am I stuck with all these costs? That's ridiculous. Let's split it, 50-50. I mean, you're rich off of your father's inheritance, right? Why not just cover it all? No, no. Now, who got us into this mess? I didn't do anything wrong here. You're the one to blame no matter what you think. And there's more. When I was at my parents' place for the funeral, you took my account information and withdrew it from my savings account. Don't you know what you've done? You robbed me. Huh? You may have known my PIN, but that doesn't mean you can use it without asking. You are unbelievable. You know you committed a crime, right? So the amount for the affair, the wedding cancellation fee, and the money you took from my savings account totals up to $35,000. I want a full refund. Hey, hey, hey. Now wait a minute. What? You better not make an excuse. I'm sorry. I apologize. There's still something I haven't told you, Layla. Please calm down and listen to me. I'm already in debt. Yeah, I know all about you. You've been using my savings to help pay off that debt. Huh? You're scary. Absolutely terrifying. How do you know so much about me? If you misbehave, you'll get caught. Did you think you kept me in the dark? Did you think that after everything you put me through, we'd have a clean breakup? I'm sorry, Layla. Please, don't act so cold. Please. Thanks to a private detective and lawyer, I had this all sorted within two weeks. So you hired a private detective? I also told your parents everything you did. I showed them the evidence for everything. But my parents are totally harsh and scary. I asked them to keep an eye on you. So there's no point in making a run for it. This is all your fault. So take responsibility. Thanks in advance for the $35,000. Layla, please wait. I can't go into many more debt. Hey, Layla, what the hell is going on? And who might this be? Huh? It's me. Well, look who it is. Long time no chat. What's up? I'm at your parents' place. Huh? My parents' place? What are you doing there? I'll tell you that in a moment. But who is this guy? You should have heard the things he said to me. It's unforgivable. Who is he? Huh? I'm not keeping up. We broke up a long time ago. How could you come up with such a line? You're still funny. Anyways, what guy? Who are you talking about? Cut it out. Just tell me who the guy is. Quit playing dumb. You know who I'm talking about. Seriously, what are you talking about? You're scaring me. I told you, I'm at your parents' place and there's a guy there. He's not like me at all. Are you trying to use him to upset me? Hurry up and head over to your parents' place. Um, is the place you're talking about my parents' old house? Huh? Old? As in previous? You didn't tell me about that. We sold our family home. It's none of your business, which is why I didn't tell you. You sold it? Why? After my dad died, mom seemed so lonely by herself in that house. She's getting up there, so I'm worried about her. Then my sister and her husband took over my dad's company and agreed to have mom move in. So then no one was living in that house and it became a bit of a hassle. We ended up selling it. Fortunately, we got a buyer right away. So maybe the guy you're talking about is the current owner of the house? I don't know him too well either. Huh? Are you telling the truth? Is that the case? Then I'm in trouble. Um, what should I do? What are you freaking out for? Did you act out of place again? I thought it was your family home, so I drank some of the vintage wine in the cellar. What did you do? You're really something. Drinking someone else's wine without permission is a bad idea. They could report you to the police. While I was drinking, a guy came downstairs and started yelling at me. I was so surprised by this unknown man that I ran into the bathroom as fast as I could. What do I do now? What do I do now? You could try apologizing to him. But really, it doesn't matter to me. Can you stop texting me? I'm busy. Wait a second. I came to this place so I can win you back. Huh? No way. Why would I ever get back with you? Huh? But what are you whining on Twitter about? Wanting to get back together with an old boyfriend? 
Was that a lie? Twitter? I don't have a Twitter account. Huh? But the Twitter handle was Layla. Isn't that your name? Yeah, but there are plenty of other Laylas out there. Anyways, I don't use Twitter. You managed to mistake me for a complete stranger online. You've got to be kidding me. How could it end up like this? I wonder who she is. I don't know, and I don't care. That wine you drink without permission is vintage, right? That means it's probably expensive. I'm in trouble. What am I supposed to do? Why does this keep happening? Quit asking me what you should do. Just be honest with the homeowner and pay them what you owe. You should leave the bathroom as soon as you can. Pay what I owe? Wait, no. Why is life throwing this at me? Don't tell me I'm going into debt again. I'm not connected to you in any way anymore. Stop texting me and stay out of my life. Layla, wait. We were engaged once, you gotta help me. I mean, you even know where he lives. You should talk this out with him. Please, help me out. You haven't changed a bit. I can't believe I ever wanted to marry someone like you. Well, what's done is done. There's no point in living in the past. It looks like I forgot to block you. You should apologize to the homeowner and take responsibility. Bye-bye. Don't ever contact me again. He owed me some serious cash. Like $35,000. I figured once he paid up, he'd leave me alone. But boy, was I wrong. Turns out, George went off the deep end and thought this Layla account was actually me. Can you believe that? So, things took a turn for the worse when George decided to take matters into his own hands. The dude went on a full-blown rampage. I'm talking about breaking stuff, causing chaos, you name it. The homeowners had no choice but to call the police on him. It was a total mess, man. And get this. The idiot ended up chugging down this vintage wine worth over $14,000. Can you believe the audacity? Now, on top of everything else, they're demanding a lump sum payment to cover the damages and compensation for the window he smashed to get into the house. Like, who does that, right? I have no idea how George managed to get his hands on that kind of money. According to his parents, they're going around town apologizing to everyone on his behalf. It's like a never-ending mess. Oh, and get this. The guy is working not one, but two jobs. I can't even wrap my head around it. Honestly, I don't even want to think about it anymore. It's just too much drama for me. So, I've made up my mind to forget about the whole thing and move on. Life's too short to dwell on someone else's craziness, you know?